<clears throat> What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another day in the brew lab with me, Lone Fox. I am coming to you from the past. When you're watching this video, I will be landing in Lisbon, Portugal. And uh, just to give myself a little bit of a cushion of time, I've decided to shoot these videos ahead of time. YouTube will release them strategically at my usual uh, streaming scheduled hour uh, so that I have a few days to just arrive in Portugal, settle in, figure out my internet situation, etc, uh, etc. Et so if you see me wearing the same shirt for the next two, three videos, that is the reason. <laughs> um, so I'm coming at you from the past with um, Prismari Dragons, Meta Week Day 5. Um, I think if you're going to be doing a thing called Meta Week and you do not include Prismari, is it dragons in the list, then uh, you're probably doing things absolutely wrong because this deck is everywhere on the ladder. And um, I think it definitely deserves a spot. Uh, I think a, a, a very important observation to make is that uh, I am playing Standard 2022 almost exclusively. If um, you know, if and when the two play queues merge and the players that are still playing standard and the people that are playing standard 2022 post rotation become one and we will get to play these, uh, th this format or what the format will be post rotation in a best of three, uh, way, then I, th I have a feeling that this is going to be, unless there's some crazy crazy new bombs that are coming out in uh, Innistrad Midnight Hunt, then I have a feeling that this deck is set to be probably one of the best decks in standard. And it will be interesting to see what the pros make of that uh, when, uh, you know, rotation happens. Because the next big event um, is going to be still using Eldraine and Ikoria and all the old cards. So we're still probably just going to be seeing Winota and Ultimatum lists and all that rubbish. But then the following, I believe, Worlds is going to be a post-rotation standard and we will see what the pros bring to the table. And I think with a good sideboard, this deck is going to become just even more obnoxious than it already is. Right now, it's probably not tier one. It's probably like just a little bit behind something like Mono Green. But we've all played against it. We've all tried to play it. Uh, it was one of the first decks I built when AFR dropped. It's uh, incredibly good. Okay, and it focuses around really the main thing is getting multiple turns with Alruin's Epiphany and uh, you know stalling the opponent with good removal and counter spells until the point at which you can do that. And then usually you have at least one or two Goldspan Dragons in play plus the birds from Alruin's Epiphany and you attack into the air until the game is done. Um, my build is slightly, let's say, different from what other people are building. Slightly. Um, I'm running Draconic Intervention, a couple copies. I think it's a pretty good idea to run this in the deck. Unfortunately, when you cast Alruin's Epiphany, it exiles itself, so you don't have a... That's why the other versions of the deck that are running uh, things like... Uh, um, magma opus and all the, you know the big uh, prismari spells from strixhaven that can be cycled to the graveyard for a treasure token then you have this big cost mana cost spell in the graveyard that you can uh, sacrifice or exile to draconic intervention in this deck the most you're going to be doing with draconic intervention is uh, three with uh, Prismari Command, so mm, I don't know, it might be the one thing that we can change. I'm going to do the usual thing and sort of adjust as I go along and uh, decide whether or not this card deserves a place in the deck, but it is a good sweeper if you're playing Dragons, so I thought, why not? And also, you know, not most people are really just going for like a lot more interaction and have completely forgotten Galazeth, Imrith, and Inferno, and they're just only playing Goldspan Dragon and Alrun's Epiphany. And the whole point is just to, to do that thing. I'm trying to just lean a little bit more heavily on the dragons just because I like them and they're new and they're cool. And, um, you know, I quite like the play where you get Orb of Dragonkind down on turn two and play a Galazeth Prismari on turn three and then a Goldspan Dragon on turn four, which is pretty explosive. Um, you know, which then sets you up for, for, for getting a, an Alrun's Epiphany down early because of the 
treasure tokens that uh, are worth double with gold fan dragon in play uh, let's see if it works out i might end up just cutting all the uh, you know extra dragons and just going for the more traditional build or you know the, the build that it's end up ended up being uh now a good almost couple of months into the format uh people are figuring out that the real kind of thing that makes this deck win is the multiple turns of Alarind Epiphany and a lot less about having a 3-4 flyer that only makes a treasure when it comes into play. So, yeah. Um, and then, you know, I'm, we might end up uh, leaving the Draconic Intervention, but when we cut the other dragons, we then might be able to put in maybe a couple copies of Magma Opus, maybe three copies of Magma Opus, and that's going to make Draconic Intervention a hell of a lot better. So... Again, well, this is uh, version one. Um, I'm going to run a couple games on the ladder and see where it takes us. And then we can continue from there. All right. So, let's jump into some games. At this point in the, in the stream, I always would uh, kindly ask my viewers to consider subscribing to the channel if they have not done so already. And, um, uh, yeah, of course, do all the other good stuff. Uh, for the YouTube's algorithm. If you could be so kind as to like the video, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the deck, how you would have built it, um, you know, what version of the deck you're running, uh, misplays that I made. I always like to hear about those because then I learn and I get better. And then, of course, if you do want to be notified whenever one of my videos goes live on the channel, Remember to hit the bell notification icon, that helps me out as well, and then you don't have to go and look for me, It'll, you'll just get a notification as I'm about to go live. Alright, um, I just realized I didn't do a very good job of describing the, the rest of the cards in the deck, but I think most people have played this stuff so often that they know what's cracking. Um, we're running Snowlands, just not a lot of them, but a few of them, which gives us the ability to play Faceless Haven. I'm only running a couple copies, because I don't want to end up with the colorless mana in the moment when I most need it. Uh, but that does give us, uh, uh, you know, the option to play Frostbite, which is great. One mana instant speed removal for three damage. It's great against those aggro decks. Um, I'm running Test of Talents instead of Negate. I think it's probably the better option, and it can be cast off of one Goldspan uh, treasure when they target it. Uh, then four copies of Sword Coming is uh, my main uh, counter spell of choice. Um, Dragonfire is the other removal piece alongside Frostbite, which can you know be can deal as much as six damage when you select the Inferno of the Star Mounts. Actually, it can do um, a lot more if you've pumped your Star Mounts up. You, but anyway, you know most of the time we're going to be doing three damage or four or five damage, depending on uh, which of the dragons you 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 target when you use Dragon's Fire. But it's it's a really good removal piece in this deck. I think it makes perfect sense to run four copies. Uh, like I said, Draconic Intervention. We've also got three copies of Prismari Command, which, don't forget, does two damage to any target as well. But most often it's used for card draw and treasure uh, creation, but also sometimes pretty good, especially against um, equipment decks. Destroy Target Artifact is a great mode on, on this um, command. Uh, and then, yeah, other card draw. Usually you try to play this. This is an important one, and a mistake that I've made way too many times. When you play Expressive Iteration, don't cast, don't, don't like start the turn and do the automatic thing and play the land straight away. Play the land the next, uh, uh, play the land that you get off of the iteration. Otherwise, you play the land from your hand, you play Expressive Iteration on turn three usually, and um, then one of the cards that you get is a land. And let's say a gold span dragon, and then a useless thing like, I don't know, another sword coming, which you've already ex a foretold one, let's say, for example. So now you're going to put the gold span dragon in your hand, which is the first thing you do. Then the, you're going to put one of them into the bottom of your library. So probably the sword coming. And then you're left with the third card, which is a land, and you exile it, and you can play the exiled card this turn. But you can't because you've already played the land from your card, from your hand. It's much better to cast this when you only have two mana in play. See if you get a land off of it. Exile that one. Play the land. Keep the land in your hand so you have a land for your next turn. Hope that makes sense. It's really crucial to do that because then you just waste the land. It gets exiled and uh, the following turn you don't have a land drop. So remember to, to play it in that way and never play this on turn two. Turn three, turn four is when you want to be playing expressive iteration. But it is a great way to sort of set up your next plays. You get to see the card, you know, the top cards of your deck. 
uh, put away the ones you don't need, put the ones you do need into your hand, and then you know you can exile one that you, you want to play right away and play it. Uh, what else? Orb of Dragonkind. Most people aren't running this one, but I really like it. Uh, you can uh, you know pay one and tap it, and it adds two mana of any combination of colors. And you can only spend this mana to cast dragon spells or activate dragon abilities, so it kind of makes sense uh, to have it in this deck, but I don't know if it's better to have three or four copies or just two is fine. Occasionally, like I said, it means if you, you can get it done on turn two and you play a land on turn three, you can already play Galazef Prismari on turn three. Uh, it, it just cheapens the cost of your dragons by one, so you can get them out a little quicker. Alright, that's the deck. Sorry. Back into the games. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> Hit the bell icon. Bam. So. Who are we playing? Ooh, just came back from the pharmacy. Got double nose swabbed. Happy to say I am COVID negative. We'll be heading to Portugal completely mellows tomorrow. Really looking forward to changing country for a little while. Been in Italy for uh, almost a year and uh, yeah, nice little break. Watch, I bet you this is some kind of a mirror. Okay, this gives us the perfect time to uh, explain what I meant with uh, expressive, expressive iteration. Okay, it's a mirror match. So don't play the left. Command in hand, frostbite bottom of the deck, faces haven exile. Lay the haven. Now we still have plenty of mana. It's a bloody mirror match, mate. Good that I got two test of talents in the mirror. That's great, actually. I wonder if it's, uh, there's also, you know, a version of the deck that's uh, Prismari and has nothing to do with dragons. They're going like full crazy spells. It might even be the mill deck, the double Tasha's hideous laughter bullshit. Oh, that feels good. Oh, that feels good, baby. Okay. Okay, it's, um, it's, uh, Jeskai Dragons with Velomachus, Lohod Command. Get a nice little look at his deck here. What's he trying to do? Two Velomachuses, a couple of gold spans. What's in his hand? Gold span divided by zero. Okay. Interesting. Bloop, bloop, bloop. I doubt he's very happy about that getting a test of talented away. All right. Um, if I pay the three, nah, okay, we'll just leave it at that. It'd be nice to get a dragon though. Might have to sacrifice one of these orbs of a dragon kind. <gasps> Should we do it? Should we do it? Should we try it? Oh, it's so juicy, but I might want to save this for like something more important. Can't be counted. So I think I'm gonna go for that one. If that is a sword coming, we can get it out of his hand now. The guy scoops. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Another horrible day today. Like I was uh, almost in D. No, I was in D. I got to D two. And then I just lost like six games in a row this morning. My wife was just shouting at me from the room next door, like, stop whining. And I was just like raging at my computer. I was like, just, I played, I even made a post about it on Facebook. I played 12 games and the nine were against mono white weenies. And then as soon as I switched to a deck that would be good against mono white weenies, I just like, it was all just suddenly dimmer control. 
The matchmaker is so fucking busted in uh, this play queue. Like, anyone who tries to convince me otherwise can just get stuffed. It's, uh, I, I don't need any more proof than my own personal experience. <laughs> it's completely fucking rigged. I don't like it. I don't, it should just be random people from your same rank, no matter what. That's the whole point. That's how it is in a tournament. Like, why isn't it that way on the ladder? I don't understand their reasoning for it. It really blows my mind, but anyway. Don't get me started on the matchmaker. Yeah. Nine. Nine. Mono white weenies in a row. Now I'm playing, uh, dim, uh, you know, dragons. Watch, it's gonna be another. Okay, no. okay, okay. Some rampy, rampy, rampy shenanigans. I'm okay with that. A lot of people foretell this sword coming turn two. I'd rather play orb of dragon kind. I've got the, the second blue land to just hard cast sword coming next turn. Okay, we we are looking at uh, probably a ooh teamer. Okay, so it's not simic ramp. There might even be dragons in this deck as well, which is quite bad. Gold span next turn. Nice, he taps out. Two lands isn't enough unless he's got a uh, what's it called? Disdainful stroke. That's not. Now we're cooking. I'll run Epiphany next turn. This is kind of like the perfect play of this deck. We can counter now whatever he plays. Nice two wins back to back. Oh baby. Misa Lucky. <laughs> this deck feels disgusting. Like it almost feels like you're cheating when it goes off like that. You just like turn three, turn four, another gold span, and then I was gonna just Alrun's Epiphany and swing in again, and I had counter spells and removal at my disposal. It just feels like cheating. You know, then you, you get bad draws and but that 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 can be said of any deck. We just realized that we like flying with Ryanair, fucking shittest airline in the whole world. If anyone who is watching this from the US, they, you guys don't know the pain of flying on Ryanair. It is just the worst airline ever. So many restrictions. I mean, it's, it's really cheap, <laughs> but because of that, they make you suffer. And uh, yeah, basically you just uh, can't do anything. Can't, like the, the, the standard, carry-on luggage size that everyone in the whole world uses they don't allow on their flights it, it has to be a smaller one so I was like ready to pack my usual little bag which I can bring on as a carry-on the one with the little wheels the little square one no that's not allowed on Ryanair flights I have to uh, you know offload all of my stuff into my wife's bag and it's making a little bit of a hassle for us I will figure it out. Okay, I do have snarls in the deck. Yeah, so let's not cast the basic land. Let's play this one on blue. And then I'm gonna do some Prismari action. If we don't draw a dragon, we can just uh, play the land, pass a turn. <clears throat> okay, let's see where he... I mean, you can only put it on my orb. So let's use it. Nice. 
Nice. Marquis Mark. Bye bye. Counter spells. I play them so little that I just feel so nasty when I do. Skadoosh. Uh, he's either playing uh, Broken Wings or it's pretty much a GG. Can double our runes. Yeah, it's a GG. I got ya, buddy. Your landfall shenanigans ain't gonna do much. Yeah, I'm saying. <laughs> it is just disgusting. Disgusting. How good this deck is. And like, obviously there's ways to counter it but you you know you if you're not playing the deck that's built to go against it in best of one and they have no sideboard then you're gonna win and like uh, that's why i made the statement in the uh, deck tech earlier like um it needs to it needs to have a best of three format i think to really kick off and i have a feeling that once uh you know rotation hits this deck is just gonna be really really hard to beat when they have good, nice little sideboard cards and then like counter the opponent's counter strategy, etc. It's going to make for some crazy matchups, I think. But uh, let's see. I reserve my judgment. Okay, goblins maybe? I'm okay with that. Yeah, that's, that's great. Playing uh, the uh, iteration next turn. Um, okay. Hand, library, exile. Pitya wasn't a red land. I'm gonna have to take another three here. Yeah, I really need a red land, like ASAP. <sighs> Just counter the next thing he plays. Okay, he's not playing nada. He's just gonna go for the uh, attack. Come on, red mana. Ugh! That's a disaster. I think we might be dead. Let's see. Might survive one more turn. Like, I just need one more red land, and we can freaking draconic these guys to pieces. He's just going for the same move again. Take another five. Mate. What the absolute fuck. Seriously. Can activate a Faces Haven. 
Okay. Got screwed, mana screwed. So frustrating. Goblins played well. Well done, opponent. Just relentless. Polite clap. Well done, opponent. Yes, very good play. Jolly good. Get down, gathers. Do I need to perhaps adjust? the amount of red sources in the deck uh, it is a pretty even split of like yeah there's a slightly higher percentage of red pips let me go down one up one see how that runs god those things they shut up your nose it's still annoying me it's like over an hour ago <laughs> I keep these one land these two landers it's probably a very bad idea but uh, let's see how it goes another goblin there. it's the same guy it's just this is happening a lot uh, I've seen many people complaining about this on Facebook this keeps happening uh, and it's 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 really rare and so I'm just a little bit concerned like what the hell's going on here like what are the chances of you playing the exact same guy twice in a row when it's uh, you know supposedly thousands of players on the planet that play this game like it, it doesn't make much sense to me you know hundreds of thousands if not you know there's there's a lot of people that play this game what is going on um mm. Prismari command and then into a draconic intervention. Double shock. What an ass hat. What an ass. Okay. Oh. Have we got anything in here that costs two? No, we don't. Um, mm. One, two. Three, three, four. Woo, we can do this. We can do this. Watch this. Two damage, treasure token. Boom, bam. Okay. Buzz off. Now he's got the den of the bugbear. It's so obnoxious, these little gobbos, man. Okay, he's not going for that. Thank God. Come on, something good. Woo! Nice. And we can still counter. If he goes for the den, I think I, I frostbite the den. Now 
we gotta keep the faces haven open for the den. Oh no! Not enough snow. That's ridiculous. God, I hate goblins so much. How can we possibly end up on this huge world of ours playing the same guy twice in a row? And it happened to me yesterday with the, like with another guy who was playing that crackle with power, like just over and over again. Like like I played five games against the same guy. Are there that few people playing standard 2022 play queue? It's possible. But it seems to me like the matchmaker is just a crock of shit. It's much more likely. <laughs> Third time. <laughs> it's so busted. What the fuck, man? Are you guys seeing this shit? The third game in a row. Whatever, man. Give me that shit. What a joke, man. What a joke. Three games in a row against the same opponent is not possible. I promise you, it's, it's, there's something wrong with this shit. How the fuck is that even the thing? What a load of bullshit, man. What a load of absolute horse shit this drives me insane guys this makes me so annoyed Whatever, dude. Like, seriously, go fuck yourself. Like, sorry, guys, excuse my French, but that is just ridiculous. How can I play the same crappy goblin deck three games in a row on the ladder? It's rigged to shit. It's guaranteed. I don't care what anyone says anymore. What a joke, man. What an absolute crock of shit. What a joke, man. What a joke. Oh, he's got one more royal eruption. It's like... It's enough to make somebody insane. We were so close to Diamond Tier 3. <laughs> so clearly Goblins pl played well. Uh, goes underneath the Alruin's Epiphany plan very easily. 
there was nothing I could do there to counter those guys. Um, no amount of removal will get you through that level of bullshit. Like, <laughs> RDW is still alive and kicking. It's not as good as the old Torbran, Robber of the Rich, yada yada variant, but it's still pretty damn fast and pretty damn good. Ah, oh, finally, a different opponent. I swear to God, if, it, if I'd gotten a third one in a row, a fourth one in a row there, I might have just thrown, thrown a fit. Ah, something different. <laughs> Watch it be goblins again. <laughs> That's a pretty nice hand. I think we can... Uh, I'm going to play one more game with this version, and then I'm going to put the... Uh, I'm going to put the uh, magma opuses and stuff in and cut down on maybe something else. We'll have to see what. Probably a mirror. Ooh, magma. Hello. class deck. Let's see if we can shred these guys. <clears throat> Hand. Deck. Exile. Targ Nag, Targ Nar. Cast all runes epiphany. Hmm. See what happens. Excuse my in laws. Blizzard Brawl, Magda's Arnie, Seeker. Weird version. He's just playing one Inferno. That's a pretty whack deck, my friend. 
I don't think that's gonna get you very far. Yeah, yeah, I know it's my go. I was having a look at your deck, bro. Here comes uh, the Asika. We can get rid of that with the Prismari command, which is just fantastic. Just fantastic, actually. Very happy with that. Mm, beg your pardon. Okay. Needs uh, to play that a seeker so I can have my little moment of enjoyment. He knows I'm running Prismari Commander, so that's why he's hesitant. Oof. Whoop. Almost. Two damage. Destroy artifact. Whatever, mate. What a load of shit, man. There's only one in this whole deck. He top decked it now. I mean, come on. Don't give me that bullshit, dude. Fuck off. Unbelievable. What a bad, bad luck. We, we had such a nice little run there on the first couple games and then just... Straight back down. Straight back down. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's make some adjustments to the brew. Make me feel a little bit more. I don't know. I think probably, like uh, I was saying, we can cut Prismari himself. Um, cut the Inferno. Put in a second one of those. And then, uh, or no, just leave it at one. Get rid of this and throw in um, like magma opus, maybe even three, and go up. Hmm. Disdainful stroke, eh? Hey? Trying to find a way to squeeze in an extra draconic.
Emrith is okay, like drawing cards and such like. Let's see how this runs. I wonder what the like consensus is. If you go and check out like, uh, you know, the MTGA zone or something, what the uh, version is that is Mari Dragons Standard 2022. <laughs> Four orbs of the dragon kind, leyline tyrant. Yeah, who made this nonsense? No, 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 no. This deck list is crap. Uh, let's see. Um, standard 2022 meta. That's good. Mono green aggro, mono white aggro, ores of mid range, simic ramp. Is it dragons? Here we go. Galazeth, three of. Who makes these decks? Frostbite, disdainful stroke, dragon's fire, expressive iteration, heated debate. The whole the multiverse. Just like a best of three. No. This is version two. Nah, I don't. I don't know. Nah. I don't know. That. that that just does not look like anything worth playing, to be honest. I think mine is better. Goblins? Nah. Oh, yes. Seems to be like uh, the matchmaker likes to put goblins up against uh, me a lot when I play. Is it? Drag I haven't been playing as many goblins lately, and then now I'm playing this list. It's just one after the next. Like you. Hand Library You do that. You do that. Gotcha. Haha! <laughs> Looks like uh, one of my good viewers, Edwin, is uh, got. Uh, he's one of Malone's patrons, and uh, he's playing a Patreon deck in it. Because I, I recognize the deck list. <laughs> I've played it against the Edwin myself. I wonder if it's the one. If it's the same one. So cool. <laughs> I just saw, you know, I, I, I was quickly scrolling through my um, YouTube feed there and I uh, saw Malone posting a list. It said Earl. I think it's Edwin's deck. It's a nice one. By the way.
Oh, it's a gruel list. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Love the art on the new Evolving Wilds, it looks so sick. Definitely something with landfall, otherwise you wouldn't be playing that. Um, okay. Will this do enough? I have three snow basics, no I don't. But it's only two, okay that's fine. And we save our dragon fire for something else. <laughs> Oh, that was a mistake. Whoops. That was not my plan. I wanted to cycle that away. That is such a mistake. Oops. Whoopsies. Whoopsie daisies. If I cast that, I wouldn't be able to all runes epiphany next turn. Which is probably what's gonna win us the game, so I just need to play my play it a bit safe there. Take a bit extra more damage than I wanted to take, but that's okay. Would have been able to cast it regardless. Got him. Whew. Perfect top deck. Just had a little bit of two little extra bit of damage just to get through. Whew. We're approaching the one hour mark. I wasn't keeping track, but I think a fair amount of wins. We just played against that Naya gym guy three times and played the same exact deck three games in a row against goblins, which just went right underneath our dragon strategy. It was way too quick for me to handle uh, with the removal that I had available. It's just always another goblin coming every turn. It was really, really tough. I feel like this version might actually be a little bit better uh, than the original one. So, uh, like, I do like the fact that we have this uh, magma opus uh, option for the late game and a little bit more counter spells. Uh, I'm starting to think, I mean, we haven't drawn Imrith once. We can just get rid of Imrith, put in an extra Prismari command. <laughs> And then maybe go down like one disdainful stroke and, and up one expressive iteration. I think I like that. <laughs> Sorry guys, those those nose jabs are just ridiculous. <laughs> Suffering. I'm 
just like trying to think to myself. <laughs> That's why I'm doing these little, mm -hmm. like the, uh, you know, tomorrow I'm flying to Portugal. This video that I'm recording now will stream tomorrow night. Then I'm going to shoot one more that's going to stream the night after that. Just trying to get all my my ducks in a row. I'll probably... And then tonight I'm, I'm just going live as usual. Should be okay. Pesties! Pesties! Actually, this is probably the deck I'm shooting next. Recording next. This uh, Golgari... Pests. Okay. Hand. Bottom of library, unfortunately. And we'll just lose the uh, expressive iteration. Iteration. Oh, bah, 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 cooler. This is cooler. Okay, nothing much going on here. Still sort of just waiting. He is going to be a blood on the snow player. So we need to hold up that counter spell when it's time. The old ghast dispute shenaniganzo. Okay. We can uh, either counter something or cycle the opus away. Oh, we're countering you, buddy. Bye bye. Don't want to see you ever. Unfortunately, that means I'm going to be left open to uh, removal, targeted removal. I don't have a counter spell for that. <laughs> okay, that's quite annoying, but it's uh, our runes epiphany time, so not too scared about that. into a uh, magma opus seems good Seems good to me. <laughs> oh, shit! That doesn't seem good at all. Stinky bugger. Darkness will swallow. That's a nice little bit of uh, tech. 
tech. Come on, just give me that opus off the top, baby, or a gold span, or freaking Alron's Epiphany, you name it. Just don't let me down, baby. <sighs> All right. Test the talents on the uh, one, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> my children drench their hands in the blood of my enemies. <laughs> At least there is blood on your hands. Come on, Opus. Oh, for fuck's sakes. We're dead. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Can hang on for one more turn. Maybe we'll get something. I mean, yeah. Gold span. What is the draw chance? Oh. Did I do my math wrong? Guess so. So unlucky. We sh I should have listened to my own um, advice and kept the sword coming open for the uh, blood on the snow. Or, well, you know, a test of talents on that blood on the snow would have just been freaking amazing. All right, guys, that's uh, the one hour mark. I think we've uh, delved deeply enough into the Prismari Dragons deck. Uh, it's good. It, it has some obvious uh, flaws. It does take a little bit of time to get off the ground. Uh, but when you get the god draw, as we saw, just things just go like crazy, crazy good. I'm still uncertain whether the first edition or the second edition that we played during the stream was the best one to go with. Um, you, you decide. I will be posting uh, both of them for you guys in the EtherHub and, uh, sorry, there will be one version on EtherHub and both versions in the video description down below. But that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. This is Lone Fox from the Brew Lab, signing out. Peace, y'all.